Oh my god! What was that thing? Oh my god! It, it, oh my god! It looks horrible! What should we do? Time to get serious! No, not with weapons! Time to do something mathematical! Oh no, what are we supposed to do? Well, I think we should shrink this squid down to size. What are you looking at? Shut up, I'm trying to be mathematical. Let's get on to reducing the size of the giant geometric squid. Well, how do we do that? Let's find out. Math girl explanation, yay. To reduce the size of a shape, you will need to create a centre of enlargement, which we are calling O. Point O can be as far or as close as you want to the shape. There is no strict point in which it has to be. From point O, you will then need to measure from to each of the points, or edges of the shape, which are A, B, C and D. Once you have that measurement, just halve the number and redraw your shape using the new size. Thank you, Ebony, for enlightening us with that very informative speech on reducing. Now we can defeat the squid. So, do you remember how to reduce objects? I sure do! Now to recap. To reduce a shape, you first have to create a point of enlargement, which we're using O in this case. Uh, then you measure to all your vertices or um, corners of your shape and get a measurement. Um, then once you have that measurement you divide it by two which is half in this case um, and then draw out your points of your shape again using the the point of enlargement as a guide and then you'll have your reduced shape. Now I can go around the geometric square. I'm sorry what? The geometric square. Huh? The geometric square. Whatever. Let's do this. Geometric squid is too, still too giant for us to fight. What do we do? Two thousand years later. A few moments later. I know, Panic Citizen number one. How would you like to be a hero? <gasps> but how would I be a hero? How about we enlarge your size so you can defeat the geometric squid? What a wondrous idea, but how would we do that? I'm not sure, but I think I know how we can find out. Explanation. To enlarge our shape, we first need to place our centre of enlargement. In this case, we are calling it O. Now we draw straight lines from point O to all other points. In this case, A, B, C and D. Now we measure the distance between O and A. We then proceed to get the distance between O and B. And so on. To double the size of this shape, we simply double the distances between these points. Now to recap. Wow, that was so interesting. Izzy, can you recap for us? Sure! So, just like reducing, we 
first of all have to create a point of enlargement which we again have called O. So now we measure the distances from O to all the other points of reference on our shape, so the corners. Once we have this distance from O to all the other points, then we just double that number and redraw our shape using O as a guide. Are you ready? Find the giant geometric squid. Okay. Hang on, hang on. That's so gorgeous, is he? No. <laughs> it's filming, Jack. So what are you doing, is he? Being mathematical. I don't know my life. Oh, okay. <laughs>